Hi, I'm Ross Kennedy from CTPM. I would like to talk briefly about the importance of a stable production plan through FlowLogic as part of your continuous improvement strategy. As explained in our previous video, we identified three key parts to a continuous improvement strategy. One, reactive improvement. Two, proactive improvement. And three, stable production plan through FlowLogic. The focus of this presentation is the importance of a stable production plan through flow logic to underpin and enhance both reactive improvement and proactive improvement. Every time the weekly, or more importantly, the daily production plan changes, wasteful and expensive disruption occurs, which then limits people's time for continuous improvement activities. Some sites become very good at adjusting to the changing demands on production and develop very good firefighting skills to address shortages or changes to schedules. It becomes the normal way of doing things rather than seen as a problem or deviation that needs to be flagged so that a root cause analysis can be conducted to stop it from happening again. So why does this occur? Traditional production planning and scheduling is based on batch logic and economic order quantity. For example, all MRP2 and ERP scheduling systems use batch logic and economic order quantities to generate production plans or schedules. Batch logic uses target stock figures to calculate what is required to be produced or delivered. If the underlying data has changed since the last plan was calculated, then one gets a different result and a different plan. Toyota found that batch logic required perfect information perfect plant performance and perfect supplier performance, otherwise they were forever adjusting their production plans and schedules. Moving from batch logic thinking to flow logic means rather than focusing on improving how production scheduling is currently done, flow logic changes the way it is done. Flow is the foundation of the Toyota production system as it was the only way Toyota could stop the firefighting in their plants and supply chains to allow more time to be devoted to ongoing continuous improvement. Flow logic is different from traditional batch logic, so it requires a change of thinking regarding the production planning process. As such, this is best done by a cross-functional team to ensure buy-in of the key players. Flow logic is typically a five-stage process stage one aiming to achieve a stable production plan for about 50% of the volume of production, recognising, according to the Glenday sieve, about 6% of your SKUs will typically make up 50% of the volume. This approach is about taking the variation in demand out of the production area and moving it into the warehouse, recognising in most cases the 6% SKUs typically have the lowest percentage variation in demand. By having a fixed schedule for say the first two days of each week, you not only have stability to allow regular continuous improvement activities, but you also gain by the economies of repetition. Sadly, many organisations don't have a stable production plan, often resulting in people being distracted by unexpected changes, then not being available for their regular continuous improvement team activities causing disruption and delays to their team's improvement goals. If you are one of these organisations that need to rethink their approach to production planning and scheduling to achieve stability for at least two days a week, give me a call or send me an email. I'm Ross Kennedy from CTPM and thank you for listening.